It's always time to duel at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Kingdom. Ancient dark mysteries are around every corner and behind every tournament. Control powerful monsters by battling for victory if you want to uncover the secrets of the Egyptian gods. This park is overflowing with games, puzzles, and mystery. Unlock your true potential to become the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist. At some point you can make your own cards? That'd be awesome. We didn't even talk about that. You could have a ton of art assets just kind of like laying around and yeah. then, you know, grab one that, that tickles your fancy and you can come up with a name for it and come up with what its ability would do. That'd be kind of well, interesting. And the other side of that is that there are like, yeah, like coming up with what it can do, mm -hmm. there are parameters. Right. So it's not like you can make a card that's like, destroys everything, boom, <laughs> you know, like right. you have to... So, like, you have to make stats that are reasonable, mm -hmm. and therefore you have the ability to be like, oh, like, this guy has more stamina, yeah. and therefore, like, this plays into my my skill set. Like, I like to, like, ride a battle out and be able to make it through it, or I like to get it over quickly, so I want more strength. I want to just, like, bash his cards out, you know? That's a great idea, and that's something I'm really into as someone who's a, a big fan of card games in particular and always have been. Like, I really like seeing how the games are balanced, if they are. Or, like, mm. um, basically paying attention to how do the game designers make it so that each new set is fun to play, but also still pretty well balanced. Um, that'd yeah. be a really fun thing to kind of teach kids about. Like, you've probably never thought about this as a consumer of this card game, but this is what we think about when we're designing them. So now you try mm -hmm. to, to follow these core tenets and these restrictions and see what the coolest card you can come up with is. And maybe they'll use some of those, you know, in an upcoming series or as, like, a, a prize at the highest level tournament is like you get our, you know, the best cards that have ever been made at this park. We're going to do a special print run for of them and you can have, you know, a sheet of those cards or whatever. That'd be yeah, cool. That'd be crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. a fun idea. That's a really simple one, but it's really cool. The park was based largely around playing games with really high stakes, which is also what the show is based around. So it, it kind of translated nicely. I thought it seemed like that park could be a season of the show almost. The high stakes is a really interesting aspect of it. Like, you know, if, if you go to an amusement park and you play one of their games and you lose, like, oh, you know, you spent a little money, you didn't win the prize, mm -hmm. whatever. Here, you're sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, you lost this game. We're going to take you to the dungeon area of this amusement park and you have to get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really fun. And, and there's some kind of fun uh, mechanical ways you can represent score that way. Like, one of uh, Will's ideas on this on this episode was... It was based on something from the show that I hadn't seen, but it was a four-way match, and each person was on their own uh, like elevator, basically. And as you gained points, you went up, and as you lost points, you went down. And when you got to zero, mm -hmm. you had a sudden drop, like a drop zone kind of attraction, where you fall like really far underground. <laughs> and I think that'd be so much fun to play. Like yes. I wouldn't even be paying attention to the game. I would be like ready and like bracing for impact, like getting ready for the drop when I get defeated. Um, <laughs> Taking I think bets really on funny. who gets banished. <laughs> right. The nice thing about this is, like, that feels very tense and high stakes, and mm -hmm. some people like that. Yeah. Some people like a more relaxed thing, and, like, watching these battles, you know, clearly it's sustained an entire, you know, anime series and yeah. sequels. Um, watching them can be pretty entertaining, you know, in and of themselves, and if the audience can, like, have some sort of impact on things like... Like, you got to work the crowd because the crowd oh, can, man. you know, change the environment or throw an extra monster in or something. That would be awesome, getting, like, a pro wrestling kind of angle going. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I think it would be thrilling to just watch, like, to be a parent who has never seen the show and you're like, I have no clue what's going on, but these, this kid keeps losing this game and it's really funny to watch. One thing that, that caught, caught my eye when reading the synopsis of this episode was... was the ghost trick haunted house and parade of course i saw the word haunted house and immediately launched all over that so um i i think because it's, it's something that i that i thought would work well in in green hill manor i just didn't know how to incorporate it but at least as soon as i saw those words and thinking about this franchise it's i i i did get an idea about it i like the idea that that ghost trick is is you know kind of call it what you will a, a compound noun you know it's two words put together what i wanted to do is have kind of like a um, i suppose i could call it a gauntlet but a, a gauntlet of mirrors if you had a gauntlet of mirrors and again this could tie into the points and tournament and leading up to something 
but maybe you could have it so you run down a gauntlet and mirrors appear, you know, tricking you all the way. And you're, you're not just one person, but you're in a team. You know, there's a team of players with you. But maybe you have, like, headgear, you know, like going to some kind of, you know, laser quest or paintball event. You know, you all have the same uniforms and outfits on. So you're tricked not only by your own mirrored avatar or whatever you want to call it, but you're tricked by the other people around you as well. Um, of course, pe- people will be of different sizes. But again, you know, you can play with mirrors and have, you know, skinny mirrors, as they call them, and fat mirrors. So I think that having that kind of gauntlet of mirrors and having mirrors come out and have it being super dark and super scary, I think that might work really, really well for this this idea. Because then it ties it, you know, it doesn't really tie it into the cards, but it ties it into the show a little bit. And I think that that could be something interesting. That gauntlet of mirrors sounds awesome. I think uh, to make it a little bit like scarier, maybe we could use kind of the snapchat technology that they use for their filters where it like turns your face into something else we could get the park guests face as they're walking through the mirrors like there's like hidden cameras that capture their face and then we can like digitally manipulate it to transform so maybe they look at a reflection like they come around a corner they see themselves but then suddenly their face starts to like kind of transform which that's like a big or not a huge part but a a part that we talked about in the original episode where you could kind of henshin, which means transform into like your more powerful self, kind of like how Yugi turns into the Pharaoh. So that'd be really cool if you could show the the guest's face actually transforming, you know, to be a little bit darker, a little bit scarier. And, you know, maybe their hair changes and they have like glyphs written on their face. They, they could make uh, it really interesting. It'd be really cool. We're just playing with perspective this episode. Um, <laughs> but you, yeah, you could have some kind of... Um you know, mask maybe that has points on it. Like you, you were talking about Snapchat filters. I think that's a really current, the technology could be used to great effect with that, you know, and then through that, that's how you, uh, it, that, I mean, that could also get, get you around the size issue of people being a different size, you know, that it could really mess with you. Of course, the, the mirrors would have to be some kind of new technology where it's safe and people don't just run in to them. Maybe there's something to that. I think that, and that plays back into the name as well. Cause it, cause it's, it's, it's literally, ghosts you know what you think of is real but essentially ghosts around you in, in in the reflections but it's but it's a trick at the same time so i think that that name inspires so much <laughs>